U.S. military officials say they have found Iranian-manufactured weapons in Iraq with date stamps indicating that they were manufactured in the past two months, evidence that Tehran is continuing to funnel weapons to Iraq despite its pledge to curb arms shipments. Iraqi Army Spokesman Major General Qasim Atta said, We have found many Iranian-made weapons, Katyusha and Grad rockets, and smart roadside bombs. Atta adds, In the past month, 712 rockets and mortars have been fired. Most of these were Iranian-made. The U.S. has repeatedly accused Iran of fueling the insurgency in Iraq. Early this month, General David Petraeus told the congressional panel the Iran factor was clearly stoking the violence in Basra. This past week, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, Admiral Michael Mullen, issued a harsh warning to Iran, saying the U.S. could use military options if Iran continues to interfere with Iraq. When I say I don't want to take any military options off the table, uh, that certainly more than implies is that we have military options. At last week's Arab ministerial meeting in Kuwait, Iranian Foreign Minister Manosher Motaki shifted the blame for Iraq's tumultuous security situation on the U.S. Bush's government should announce the truth, which is American policy in Iraq has failed. Iran's foreign ministry spokesman Mohammad Ali Husseini, echoing Motaki, denied the allegations, saying Tehran is committed to the government in Baghdad. He said, quote, Such allegations, which are against Iran's strategy, are among scenarios masterminded by the U.S. Army commanders who try to put the blame on others. But Iraqi security advisor Mufawak al-Rubai told the London newspaper Iran could be doing much more to defuse violence and stop the flow of weapons to Iraq. Tehran and Washington have held three rounds of talks over the security situation in Iraq. A fourth round of talks is expected to be held in the near future. Meanwhile, deadly fighting in Sadir City has claimed over 400 lives this past month. In the southern city of Basra, clashes between Iraqi forces and militia groups have resulted in more than 700 deaths since March.